Well, hello everybody. January 16th, 2023 in Big Bear. Starting to snow again, you guys. Oh yeah. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go over towards the village, but we're gonna kind of go the back routes here, you guys. Just kind of avoid all the traffic on the boulevard. Oh, I fell asleep. So nice. So nice. I haven't been sleeping much because of these storms recently. It was, it was nice to get a little bit of a little bit of shut eye. Hope you all are having a good night. I hope those of you who came up here are having a good time. Once again, I'm sorry about the the, the all the rain and uh, sorry for keep on asking you guys these past few videos to subscribe and hit the like button. I'm so, <laughs> sorry to ask you guys to do that. Um, I'm I'm really interested in seeing what the difference is going to be. And then tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be on Fox Weather from nine eight or at like eight forty five in the morning or nine in the morning. Um, I get the like initial phone call at like eight thirty in the morning, and then it's fifteen to twenty minutes later. The phone call is to test to see that all the sounds working and this and that. So. Um, but yeah, it's a three to five minute segment tomorrow. So hopefully uh, you guys get to see me. I'm gonna be posting a link for you guys. For those of you who do wanna see me on, on the news, I'm super excited. And yeah, I, I, I just wanna see by ask, asking people to subscribe and hit the like button, what the difference is gonna be um, with, with uh, my subscriber rate, especially after being on the news. I don't think it's gonna get like too many views because it's just, I mean, with all due respect, it's just Big Bear, and I don't know how many people across the country really care, but um, I sure do, so hopefully it'll work out for us. And uh, hopefully your boy over here can get some more subscribers. That'd be really, really cool. And I know a lot of you probably don't like all the random uh, donation videos, but for me, it means the world to be able to thank everybody who takes time to hook a brother up. And uh, you guys don't have to, um, as a matter of fact, uh, um, have the notifications on just so you don't you don't get annoyed. I'm just trying to, to see what happens if I get that subscriber count up. So, yeah, whatever I can do, I just want to see, test this thing, see what's going on. Now, to the weather. To the weather. According to my car, it's 32 degrees. For some reason, and we're on Summit Boulevard. And for some reason, my phone isn't connecting to my car right now, so uh, we don't have the map up there. But according to this, it's 30 degrees and it's snowing. And let's see how much snow it says we're gonna get by tomorrow. Three more inches of snow is what it says. So I hope that happens. Let's take a little zoom in on the radar, folks. And then since there's no one behind me, we're just gonna go slow and then hit play and let you guys watch. Oh, that's gonna be nice, especially in a little bit. But yeah, it just started, you guys. It just started to to come down as as good snow um it is a steady snowfall this is the accumulating type of snow right now so i'm very happy to see this we just need it to be consistent consistent and persistent insistent Woo! We have our a couple friends up here. Mary Alice Soto and her husband are up here from this channel. And uh, they were having a hard time parking earlier at their Airbnb or at the place that they own. I can't remember what it was, but because the driveway is so steep and with all that really slushy weather we had, it just wasn't, wasn't much fun for them. 
Uh, it doesn't look like there's, there, there's many people on the boulevard. But we're going to keep on taking the back streets from the Moon Ridge area to the village, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I know it's getting kind of late, and the video's going to gonna get dark out soon so I want to make sure we at least got you guys uh, another update video oh my gosh come on buddy you guys those snow plows really do a great job here they all deserve a pat on the back for sure because without them, there would be so many more people stuck. Not just a lot like there are already. There would be half the people would be stuck. Unless you have a get up like I've got with snow tires and all wheel drive. But I still see lots of Jeeps and like Jeep Wrangler Rubicons and this and that stuck. It's flabbergasts me how that happens. Because I heard those are supposed to be like just incredible in the snow. But that just shows you guys that it's not all about the equipment. You have to have some talent in these conditions. Oh, snap. Oh, it's so beautiful, guys. It is so beautiful out here. Tonight, I am confident just as confident as I was last night that it's going to continue to snow, not, not change to rain, and then it changed to rain at like 3.30 in the morning. I couldn't believe it. I'm uploading a beautiful snowy video from driving around the whole valley in the middle of the night, and then what happens? It starts to rain. So half of our snow at my house, you guys, is completely gone. It is completely gone because of all the, all the rain. Pennsylvania Avenue and this will eventually turn into Village Drive and that's where we're going that's where we're going my friend until the very end Okay, so here we go. This is a very steep hill. I don't want to be waiting at the top of the hill like this. This person's stuck right here. See, in a truck, unfortunately, they're kind of struggling. But that's... That's kind of scary, you guys, when you are sliding down a really steep hill like that. But he wasn't going to crash into anything, even if uh, he did keep on sliding. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, because I don't toot. And I don't think I even have a horn. But I'm not trying to toot it. I am pretty good at driving in these conditions. As I said, I know I've got really great equipment for it. So that, <laughs> I'm telling you what, that helps me a lot. But seeing so many people getting stuck in the most minor situations, um, it just, it makes me realize how much experience I really do have. Super, super grateful. And also guys, I tell you guys all the time, when you come up here, once you get up here, if you are nervous, go into one of the empty ski resort parking lots and just at nighttime, and they're huge and just get up to speed spin your wheel hit your brakes hit your gas lose control and try to regain control and just keep on doing that rinse wash and repeat i'm telling you it sounds stupid it sounds like i'm a little child and i am but it's fun at the same time as it is educational because you will get you will get a feel for it and getting that feel for it on your hands on the steering wheel is it, I'm telling you, it'll help you guys so much. And as I said, it is fun. 
I mean, who doesn't like drifting around turns and doing 360s in your car? That's what you'll do in those freaking parking lots, and then you'll regain control and just do what you got to do, guys. Man. Someday I'll have a Tesla. Someday I'll have a Tesla. And my channel's gonna pay for it all. Right guys, that's the right attitude. Law of attraction, it's gonna happen. It already is happening. I just need to realize it. Queen Bee Honey Shop, that's a new store here. The owners are super cool and they have a super amazing product. I would definitely, definitely give them a chance when you guys come up here. Queen Bee Honey Shop in the village. And who knows, maybe they'll hook you up if you say that I referred you, I don't know. I know if you go to Big Bear Smoke and Vape and say that I referred you, they will definitely hook you up. Or charge you double. <laughs> and look at how pretty this is, guys. I am so lucky to live here. Almost there. All these people are leaving town right now. Well, we're going back into town. <laughs> There's Leroy's. Leroy's. They got really nice stuff in there. Super expensive though, my gosh. But everything up here is really expensive. It is a tourist town, so you gotta expect that. It's just everything is super duper looper schmooper expensive. Isn't that, this is beautiful, you guys. This hotel, the marina. This was the first place I ever put my mom up um, when she first came up here, maybe se seven years ago. And I'll never forget, like, it was stressful because I, I didn't have hardly any money to my name. And, and that was when I was still eating a lot of top ramen and, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm not complaining, I was still getting fed. But that's what I was eating because I, I couldn't afford anything you guys like I, I was freaking out on my $550 a month rent and I still get stressed about it but it's not as bad as it used to be but it's a really nice place it's right on the lake Okay, I was just here at Get Boards across the street and I accidentally hit a button on the side of the phone and it shut off the camera. So I pulled over to figure out what's going on with the camera. So hang tight, you guys, hang freaking tight. Here's my rear view camera when I'm backing up. You guys wanna see something really cool I've shown you before. 
This is my rear view mirror, right? If I hit this button right here, it turns into a camera. Watch. Look at that. Look at that. Watch. See, look, you're not seeing our reflection because there's a camera back there. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Look, turn like this. Look at that. It's a camera. How freaking cool is that? Oh, wait, let's look at the camera up front, shall we? Right here on this screen. Just push this button right here and Pwah! there's the front camera. <laughs> it's so cool, man. So freaking cool, dude. Anyway, I'm going to fasten my seatbelt. I have to take it off so I can grab my Zin out of my pocket. So we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. And you know what? There's a neighborhood that we 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 haven't gone through yet. It's just a small little type of a. It's a trailer park, and I know you guys are like. Oh, well, I mean, we've seen one, seen them all, but no, oh, this is just a great location, and I wouldn't mind living in here because of its location too it's like centrally located it's just right down the street here so i figured hey why not check her out so there's two get boards there's one right here and the other one that we just went to and right here here's big bear smoke and vape the second shop. This is their Big Bear Lake shops right there, straight ahead. I'm telling you guys, they'll hook you up big time if you say that I referred you. And the owner is such a good dude. So funny enough, this neighborhood I accidentally discovered maybe about a year ago. After being here for so many years doing these videos, I had never come in here. But I just like these cute little nice mobile home parks like this. I know, the stereotype is ringing out. <laughs> but look at how cute that place is right there. I mean, come on now. Come on now. The prices for these places have gone through the roof as well. Through the roof, man. Through the roof. Oi vey. Come on now, oi, oi vey. Oh yeah. I'm telling you guys, this time of night is such a beautiful time in these storms to drive. Look at how tight this fit is right here though. Oh. Ugh. But yeah, cute, cute little place. A lot of these are like more modern. I know you guys are laughing at me like, dude, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? But when I pull out, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say like centrally located. I mean, it's off the main drag, so it's fairly private over here. They have a pool in there and it's actually really nice. I mean, it's so right here, we're on Big Bear Boulevard now. Once again, there's Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And two stoplights down is the village. Not the red light, but the green light. And we're going to head back this way and take the boulevard so you guys can see what's going on and get a little loose maybe if we try. Nope. Of course not. My snow tires don't want to allow me to have fun. But we are going to take the other back road um, behind Taco Bell to get back. Once again, this is just going to be a short update until it really starts dumping later. And then we'll do a bigger drive around town. We'll hit parts of Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. But as I said, I'd like to keep you guys mostly where the majority of the tourism is going to be, especially for the shorter updates. And this is it. So this is Knight Avenue, right in between Denny's and Taco Bell. This is the street that gets you back here by the park on Park Avenue, Meadow something park. And uh, you can avoid all the traffic on Big Bear Boulevard going this way. Or if you go back on Pennsylvania Avenue like we did on the way over here, you can be on that side of the street 
behind us passing everything up. You guys, I got another comment from an angry local who, who said, don't tell these people where to, how to get these shortcuts through the neighborhoods. Da, 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 da. And I was like, dude, don't forget, man. You, these people create our jobs up here. <laughs> so, and I said also, if I didn't think this channel, these people would be respectful, I wouldn't tell them. But the people who watch this channel are lovely people. And you know what? I believe in you guys, that you guys are sweethearts. And there's a snowman right there. Look, look at that. Mr. Snowman, <laughs> build me a dream. So yeah, this is Meadow Park. And we've got this big baseball field right here. There's a lot of softball games going on. I was gonna join a softball league up here because I'm just super cool. But yeah, look at all, look at how beautiful and fresh the snow is out there. And once again, this is such an incredible time of night to drive. I just love it, love it, love it. We've got tennis courts right here. This is all maintained by the city, of course. I shouldn't say of course. Then we're coming up to some basketball courts. And you have lake access as well, uh, right where we pulled onto this street called Park Avenue. Yeah, guys, we're done with the tourism in terms of like traffic tourism, you guys, for a while. So you guys might want to consider coming up. It would behoove you guys to come up now in the next couple days because that's when uh, you're going to be able to get around town without any issue. And that's how I want it to be for you guys. I always want you guys just to have fun. I don't want you to have to deal with any of the BS of everyday uh, holiday travel up here because I know you're already nervous driving on these roads and to be nervous with a bunch of angry people out there is just not fun. So never, ever, ever hesitate, guys, to ask me what's going on up here. And then I've told you guys also, you want to call before you come up here, when we have storms like this, before you come up here, you want to call a phone number 800 Caltrans. Okay, it's a short automated little phone call. It'll tell you what the road conditions are for the road you choose to travel. And uh, there's an app, a Caltrans app, and a couple other apps which are free. The Caltrans one is not free, I don't believe. <clears throat> but the phone number is, and it takes you about a minute. You just verbally speak which route you wanna take, and then you'll be, you'll be golden. And also, if you're, if you're ever coming up during the storms as well, I always suggest even during your drive, like not just r right before you uh, leave your house, but during the drive, call that phone number again, just to make sure that it's still what you're expecting. Cause I can't stress enough. It is horrible to drive halfway up the mountain with all the traffic and then being turned around by Caltrans and CHP halfway up, thinking you'll be okay. I bought a piece of furniture here, we'll never do it again. So expensive, such a joke. <gasps> they have nice stuff in there, but it was so expensive. As I said, everything up here is so very expensive. When I first moved up here, there were about three of us, um, every, like like once a month, we would put our money together and then go down, go down to Costco and get a bunch of stuff. I think I went a long time without going to our grocery store here. Because as I said, it's just, it's, it's expensive. And you guys, of course, I want you to spend money up here because it helps us. It helps our, econ our, our economy up here. But when we're putting roundabouts in, instead of doing other things, um, I don't know, just 
kind of kind of irks me a little bit. So now we have entered Fox Farm Road. Well, we were just on Fox Farm Road on the other side too. We were on Swan after we turned. So when we were on Park and passed all all those parks, we um, we turned right or left onto Swan and we followed Swan around and Swan turned into Fox Farm. And we are on Fox Farm right now and I got the hiccups. What's going on here? So we're gonna take this. This is gonna change its name, I think, to like McAllister or something. But we are going into Moonridge. This is the direction we're gonna to take to go into Moonridge. I hope all of you who are up here right now are having a great time. I really hope you guys are having fun. I know once it starts snowing, it, at least for me, it takes away a lot of my frustration with all the rain that hit. I know a lot of you had planned on coming up yesterday for the big snowstorm, and so I, I do feel for you guys. I know how, trust me, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. I live here. <laughs> it happens all the time. And in front of us, we got a, a Mr. Plow. down here. This is still Fox Farm and I think this turns into McAllister right now. We shall see. It's still snowing. You can't really tell too much unless you look down at the headlights. You might be able to see a little bit. are on the road car quit bugging me like that yeah, let's see I think this is McAllister I'm just gonna go ahead and say it is McAllister let's see constellation McAllister baby So this guy stopped in the middle of the road. Look, in the middle of the road. Seriously, you guys. I know that's none of you guys on this channel. I know you guys would never do that respectful of people on this channel. That just chaps my hide. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is, this can be a scary slope here. I think this is now Cougar. McAllister turns into Cougar or Sonoma. I can't remember. It's either Cougar or Sonoma. We'll see at the next street. I really need to get this down, but I always forget, and I'm always looking to remind myself. My eyes are on the road, dumb car. Yeah, we're on Cougar.
nice consistent little snow guys so we're coming up to the roundabout area in moon ridge and uh, we're just about done with this update as i said later when the snow starts piling up if it does even if it's just a couple more inches we will be back out there no question about it guys thank you for cruising with me again as usual i really enjoy your company thank you for all the support thank you for all the love if if you if you stuck around this long please subscribe please hit the like button i just want to see what the heck it does for me um after like a month so thanks guys and i will never let you guys down peace out january 16th 2023 29 degrees in big barrett 5 31 p.m peace out